Welcome, in front of me is a Redmi Note 10 Pro and today I'll show you a couple tweaks and tricks you can do on this phone. So we're going to begin with the dark mode which can be accessed through settings. Now the benefit of this dark mode right here is the inclusion of a scheduled mode. So as you can see, I have this scheduled dark mode which allows you to turn it on uh, at a specific time and then it will automatically turn off as well. Uh, what I would consider the uh, best of both worlds solution. So during the daytime you can have light mode, which I believe is uh, probably for everybody a little bit better to see during well, the direct sunlight and stuff like that. But during the nighttime, you most certainly won't want to have this pure white light blasting your face in a dark room. So dark mode will be a better solution during night. And this will allow you to basically set it up so it switches automatically and yeah, highly recommend it. Now, moving on, we're going to go to the uh, full screen display. So this will be the gesture navigation. At least that's uh, it's the equivalent of gesture navigations. So what it does is remove the, removes the buttons from the bottom of the screen and substitutes them for well, just gestures to navigate to the device. And to enable them, we're going to go into additional settings. From here, From here I'm going to get confused because apparently they changed the name, full screen display, there we go. So it looks like they moved the, the setting I guess, uh, but you can set, find it I guess under gestures, so they did change the name here. Uh, I believe if you were still searching for gestures it wouldn't find it even though it's written right here, uh, because this doesn't really come up as a search result, this specific wording right here. So. Anyway, all you need to do is simply tap on this to enable it and it does gives us, give us a, a learning tool right here so we actually know how to use this. So let's go quickly over this. It is fairly basic once you get used to it. So swipe up to go home, swipe up and hold to go to recent and then swipe from either side to go back. Mm, there we go. Now, one tip that I will give uh, for uh, people that haven't used gesture navigation before, uh, when you're trying to go back uh, home or stuff like that, don't try to swipe uh, to access that, that gesture from the screen up because as you can see, this will result in you just swiping up. Uh, when you're trying to go home, swipe off of the screen. So from the bezel upwards like that. Now the reason why it didn't work the first time around is because I basically lifted, my, lifted up my finger. But as you can see, this way it works just fine. Anyway, let's move to the next mode or next tweak, um, which is going to be the light mode. Now this will be more catering to elderly people that struggle with using the uh, device. So what it does is make everything a little bit bigger um, along with uh, reducing the amount of apps that are accessible on the home screen. Uh, just giving you the what I would call the essential apps plus a couple more outside of the what I would consider to be essential. So let's go into special features, light mode and let's turn it on quickly. Now, as you can see by turning it on it does bring back the uh, buttons and they are a little bit more friendly to to the people that aren't used to smartphones and as you can see uh, on the first page right here we have just bare minimum apps so gallery weather music music is i would call it outside of essential along with security uh, play store settings dialer uh, messages and camera application and it is primarily what majority of the people will use or need now on the next page we do have a couple additional apps uh, as you can see uh, but still uh, there's i believe several of them missing anyway so that is one part and the other one you can see that the text is a little bit bigger along with shortcuts or all the toggles right here uh, there's way less of them so we only have like several there's no like normally there's i think three pages here we have just like half a page basically so anyway it makes the device just a little bit simpler and easier to use I'm going to quickly go back and disable this. Uh, 
And from here, I'll move on to another tweak, which is going to be the uh, game turbo. Now, this is primarily for people that will play games on their device. So let's go into the settings and again, special features. And it was right above first option game turbo. Now this is, I believe, a, also an application. So I can quickly check if that is the case. It's probably somewhere hidden. So it is accessible through the app right here, security and game turbo. Uh, but going back to it, what it does is basically stores all your games in here. Uh, so you can launch them from this application and also add specific parameters to them. So apps launched through here will get a little bit of a better performance depending on depending on how much uh, well, care you take of the device in the background. So. An example, uh, if you have some bunch of apps open in the background and you launch the game normally, some of those apps might slow down your gaming, if you know what I, if you understand what I mean by that. Um, what this will do, this app will basically close off all the apps that are in the background or terminate them. They will still, for instance, be visible like they are right now, but they won't be running. So game that you're playing will get the full uh, phone speed to utilize well, the best performance. Uh, additionally, you can change uh, things like notification settings. So when you're playing games, it can basically stop people from calling you, messaging you, you won't get any kind of pop-ups just so you have unobstructed or uninterrupted gaming session. And then lastly, moving on to the refresh rate. Let's go into the settings and display you will find a refresh rate. Now by default, for some reason, it is set to 60. I highly recommend you changing it to 120. It will make the gaming, or not even gaming, uh, just the overall use of the device experience of using it so much more pleasant. The battery smooth movement of everything that you're interacting with on the display is just a really nice feeling when everything just glides. So I recommend trying it. And yeah, now, that being said, this will conclude all the tweaks and tricks I wanted to share. And if you found this very helpful, don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and thanks for watching.